From strange Neolithic structures to mysterious glass and more, here are 12 cases of amazing ancient technology that was way ahead of its time. Number 12. The Ancient Rock Ship of Asuka Strange megalithic stone structures are spotted all over the forest in Asuka Nara, Japan. Called Masudo no Iwafune, or the Rock Ships of Masuda, they're found in an area known for its many Buddhist temples and shrines. But there are actually several stone monuments in the hills that don't fit in with any other construction. No one seems to know who built them, or when. The village itself dates back to 250 to 552 AD, and these date to before then. The most famous one is 36 feet, 26 feet, 8 meters wide, and 15 feet, 4.7 meters high, with a weight around 800 tons. There are 3.2 feet, 1 meter square holes carved into the top of the structure. It may have been constructed by Buddhists for some type of ceremony, given the region's many Buddhist temples and shrines. But these rocks don't resemble the architecture of any known Buddhist structure. Perhaps the stone was carved to commemorate the former Masuda Lake, which was once nearby but was drained. The structure may have been an astronomical observation point. A ridgeline on the top of it runs parallel to the mountain range in Asuka and aligns with the sunset on a day called Spring Doyu Entry. This day may have signaled the beginning of the agricultural season. But scholars' favorite theory is that they are ancient tombs of a royal family and maybe used to have a lid. But pretty much everything about them remains a mystery. Number 11. Dropa Stones In 1938, Chinese archaeologist Dr. Chi Pu Te discovered evidence of a long-lost culture in the caves around Bayan Karaula in China. Under a thick layer of dust, Dr. Chi found dozens of stone discs that were strikingly similar to vinyl records. They were about 9 inches in diameter and had a central hole and were inscribed with a long spiral groove. The discs were turned over to a researcher named Tsum Um Nui from the Beijing Academy for Ancient Studies. He was able to translate them and announced that not only were the spiral grooves made up of tiny hieroglyphics, but the inscriptions told the story of a space-faring people called the Dropa, who crash-landed in the nearby mountains. These aliens had been hunted by humans because they were short and ugly. Tsum was roundly ridiculed and went into hiding in Japan, but not before the discs were dated to be about 10,000 years old. Russian scientists somehow obtained the discs and put them on a turntable, where they allegedly noted that the discs began to vibrate and hum when they were played like an LP. The remainder of the Russian experiment and its results were never published, and the Dropa discs have since vanished. Nobody knows where the discs are and what happened to the Dropa people if they ever existed at all. And now for number 10. But first, let me know what theories you have in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that thumbs up to let me know you want to see more like this. Number 10. The Vikings Navigational Sunstone We all know the brutal history of the Vikings and thanks to the ultra popular show on the History Channel, many of us have a pretty clear image in our minds. Plunder, war, victory, beards and axes, a murder of hungry crows, a tinge of Thor and a touch of Odin. But did you know the Vikings were secret scientists and that they created what some would argue was the world's first sun-catching crystal compass? This is of course the fabled sunstone of which I speak. Norse sagas mention this mysterious sunstone for navigation, but what was it exactly? The closest thing we have to it today would be a compass. The Vikings' method of navigating the seas with their sunstone was far beyond their time, and they had the advantage over other people living in the same time period. Just ask all the towns they attacked and plundered. In essence, the Vikings took a stone, what researchers believed to be something called Iceland Spar, and used a block of it to locate the position of the sun during cloudy, miserable, and otherwise impossible conditions at sea. Cloudy weather at sea, even with the technology we have today, is still challenging and not great. Scientists believe that this Iceland Spar was calcite. The calcite helped to split light and depolarize it so you could determine the location of rings hidden behind the sun. Science Magazine reported that to see if calcite is accurate enough for navigation, a team led by Guy Ropers, a physicist at the University of Rennes 1 in France, built a sunstone. They used a chunk of calcite from Iceland spar and locked it into a wooden device that beams light from the sky onto the crystal through a hole. They found that the sunstone came within 1% of the true location of the sun, even after it was below the horizon. 
Their clever use of the transparent crystal allowed them to sail their vessel all the way to Canada before any other explorer ever did. Their smart use of the ancient sunstone was also the Viking's key to terrorizing the Frankish and English coasts for years. Number 9. The Egyptian Ramp The last time you entered an apartment building, a shopping complex, or even a school, chances are you didn't look at the wheelchair ramp and immediately think about ancient Egyptian technology. You didn't, did you? Of course not. Why would you? Most people don't know that the ancient Egyptians were the first human beings to skillfully use ramp technology. But it's true, they were. The Egyptians did it first. Only, they weren't using ramps 4,000 years ago to get wheelchairs safely in and out of the pyramids. They were building them to get those massive stones in place higher up on their pyramids. According to researchers, early Egyptians figured it out that it was easier to slide large slabs of sandstone up a soft ramp using leverage and manpower than to haul them up using ropes. And while the scientific evidence of these early ramps isn't 100% concrete, one only needs to observe the impressive shafts in places like the Great Pyramid of Giza or the Valley of the Kings to see how Egyptians utilized tunnels and ramps to get things from one spot to another. Looking inside a pyramid is like looking into an anthill. So, is it any surprise that the Egyptians were Earth's first mighty builders, using ramp technology way ahead of its time? Number 8. The Baghdad Battery We've advanced so far into the future of technology that even batteries are gradually becoming obsolete, at least in the AA and AAA forms we first became accustomed to. And while we think of batteries being new powerhouses for cordless technology, did you know the first batteries may have been crafted in the sandy depths of Arabia in the year 250 BCE? That's roughly 2,000 years ago, and in a desert in the middle of nowhere. The Baghdad battery is a mystical ancient device that makes the potato battery look like, well, like a potato battery. This impressive pre-modern device was basically a clay jar, an asphalt stopper, an iron rod jammed through the middle like a stalactite antenna, and a copper cylinder surrounding the iron on the inside. Once vinegar is added to the jar, you have a miracle of science, a bona fide 1.1 volt battery. But is this what it was supposed to be? It's been suggested that the artifact could have been used for electroplating gold onto objects made of silver. If the pot was filled with an acid or alkaline liquid, like vinegar or lemon juice, then the theory was that this would be sufficient to produce an electric charge. Unfortunately, there is no proof that electroplating was done anywhere at this point in human history, and the artifact is extremely inefficient as a battery. Tests and simulations done by Mythbusters and other academics have shown that the more the Baghdad battery is used, the lower the charge it produces. Sticking a probe into a lemon will provide more of an electrical current than the battery itself. Since then, the battery has gone missing after the National Museum of Iraq was looted in 2003. Scientists and archaeologists are still trying to determine what this strange thing was used for. Number 7. Tough Roman Concrete when it comes to innovations and ingenuities way ahead of their time, nobody did it quite like the Romans. In their quest to conquer the known world 2,000 years ago, Romans developed roads, waterways, new forms of government, and one technology that functions in the 21st century even better than anything modern science has come up with since. That's right, I'm talking about concrete. Modern concrete crumbles, breaks apart, falls into dust, and can become totally useless after 50 years. And yet Roman concrete has lasted all through the ages. Just look at the Colosseum. It's practically stronger today than it was back in the time of the Roman Empire. So what makes Roman concrete a technology that was way too advanced for its time? The answer is in the formula. It all began with a simple engineer, Marcus Vitruvius, way back in 30 BCE. He made a special batch of concrete that became the golden standard for the empire, getting stronger as time wore on instead of weaker. This was a simple formula of lime, volcanic ash, and seawater, all of it mixed with strong volcanic rocks and then packed into molds and soaked in additional seawater. This simple solution created a concrete magic way ahead of its time. Go figure, the Roman's genius is still relevant today. Number 6. Persian Freezers Have you ever heard of an igloo in the middle of Iran? Well, that's exactly what a yakchal is. Ancient Native Americans learned how to smoke meat, Vikings learned how to navigate, the Greeks learned how to govern, and the Persians figured out how to keep ice frozen in the middle of the sweltering desert. Unbelievable as it sounds, it's absolutely true. The word yakchal means ice pit in ancient Persian, and nothing describes the desert freezer any better than that. To see one of the old ice pits is incredible. 
They look like giant igloos crafted from soft sand with chimneys stretching way up into the sky. As early technology goes, they were far beyond their time. It took most civilizations another thousand years to come up with the fridge. The Persians perfected their freezers, which were an incredible 60 feet tall and housed 6,500 cubic yards of space, by utilizing winds, air patterns, and special watering machines to create an evaporating cooling system that chilled the food and ice within the freezer, especially at night, so that all of the harvested goods would last through the harsh summer season. Now that's innovation ahead of their time. Number 5. The Power of Damascus Steel Number 5 on our list of technologies that were way ahead of their time, Damascus Steel. You may have heard the crazy stories about Damascus Steel. For thousands of years there have been claims that swords crafted from this miracle metal were the sharpest blades on planet Earth. Even today, you can hear boasting that Damascus Steel swords can slice through rifle barrels like a hot knife through a cheese string. So what is it that allowed these Eastern Forge Masters to craft such impressively sharp blades? And how did a unique alloy from southern India produce a hardy metal that has yet to be replicated in the 21st century? It all comes down to a type of steel called Wootz, which originated in India well over 2,000 years before the internet came around, and even before Christ. Wootz was traded, often via the Silk Road, to the ancient cultural trade center of Damascus, the current capital of Syria. The weapon masters of the time then used the Wootz to create the infamous Damascus steel we know of today, the fiercest metal ever made. Unfortunately, the original technique was lost somewhere during the 1700s, and so was the original material. All that remains today is the memory of an impressive type of steel technology way ahead of its time. Number 4. The Archimedes Screw We're about to throw a whole lot of science at you with ancient technology number 4, the Archimedes Screw. This ingenious device is thought to have been first implemented by the fabled Greek inventor Archimedes. What's the craziest thing about this machine? Well, it's still used in the modern world today. We use it for pumping sewage inside of high-tech water treatment facilities. The first use of the Archimedes screw was to raise water and drain the enormous holes of large ships after they returned from sea. Archimedes put together a giant pipe with a helix inside of it. The helix inclined to 45 degrees horizontally. Once the pipe was dipped inside a body of water, the helix would be turned and the water would rise upwards inside the pipe. Think of it like a straw a giant straw that could drain water 10 times faster than dumping buckets. This was, back in the days of ancient Greece, a marvel in technology and way ahead of its time. Gravity, a special helix, the quick drainage of water. It was a masterpiece. Even today, the design carries water, literally. Number 3. The Antikythera Mechanism The legend of the Antikythera Mechanism is one of mystique and intrigue. The world's first supposed computer sat at the bottom of the sea for over 2,000 years before it was discovered and retrieved. And today, it continues to take up space in the National Archaeological Museum of Athens, looking like a trio of green rotted rocks. Unlike a rock, these mysterious mechanisms are anything but dull. Through the sea caused corrosion are hints of modern technology. We're talking about gears with precision teeth, tiny components that look like clock pieces, and something that looks like a measurement ring it's truly boggling to the mind. And while there are a lot of conspiracy theories circulating to this day about its original creator, many people cry ancient aliens, the truth is that nobody knows for sure who made the device. One thing is for certain, the Antikythera mechanism could have been used to track the moon, the sun, and the planets with startling accuracy. In recent history, special scans have revealed even more intricate pieces inside of the machine, and more fringe scientists have come out raving that the mechanism was lost from a visiting spacecraft thousands of years ago. No matter what anyone thinks, or what the device truly did, nothing else like it was created on Earth for over a thousand years. This was a piece of technology far ahead of its time. Number 2. Architas's Steam-Powered Pigeon Steam power is a clever beast. Most of us are familiar with the Industrial Revolution, the invention of the steam engine, coal-fueled trains, and other types of monster machinery. We're all surely familiar with steampunk, the dreamlike visions of 16th century Hong Kong overrun by steam-spewing humanoid automatons. But did you know that the first steam-powered machine was actually invented in Greece, and it came in the form of a pigeon? The inventor goes by the name Architas, and he was quite famous back in the days of the great Greek pantheon. Among his inventions was a steam-powered flying pigeon. It worked by stuffing an animal's bladder into a light, aerodynamic pigeon, not a real pigeon of course, and then attaching the base of the fake pigeon to the antique kettle. 
The bladder filled with steam, reached the point where the seal couldn't take the heat, and the pigeon rocketed off, flying across the sky. And there you have it. A steam-powered flying pigeon far ahead of the invention of steam power. Number 1. The Hero of Alexandria's Vending Machine We saved the best for last. Well, maybe not the best, but definitely the most interesting. When it comes to inventions and technology that were way ahead of their time, the Hero of Alexandria must be mentioned. He was a genius inventor born in the first century and based in the ancient metropolitan of Alexandria in what is now modern-day Egypt. The hero of Alexandria's most famous invention may be the mechanical puppet. He had play for a full 10 minutes by using a system of knots, cogs, and ropes. But we're here to talk about his vending machine. That's right, the world's very first vending machine was invented in first century Egypt, occupied at the time by the Greeks. What did the first vending machine dispense? Well, what do you think? It was holy water. The coin was inserted into the inventor's machine, and a predetermined amount of the holiest of liquids was then dispensed. It was a simple mechanism. The coin hit a pan, the pan pulled a lever, and a small valve opened just for a second to allow water to spill out. Simple as it was, this vending machine was still way ahead of its time. Thanks for joining me. Which one was your favorite? Were you surprised by any of these? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.